Hello guys, I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of visiting Iceland and uh, the first pro I want to mention is the diversity in the nature. Uh, we have very diverse landscapes in Iceland, everything from deserts, forests, uh, lupina fields, mountains, glaciers, volcanoes. Um, this is uh, very different to many European countries. Um, and for example, if you are landing in Iceland uh, in Keflavik International Airport, you will see a lot of you will see a lot of diversity in the landscape if you are landing uh, when there is clear skies. Uh, number two, uh, which I think is very authentic, it's not visible in many countries in the world. I would say that is the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, which uh, is the um, thing you see during the winter months in Iceland. Uh, Iceland gets a lot of tourists who exclusively visit Iceland to see the Northern Lights and this is not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed you will see it but uh, if you go during the autumn months or spring months you will have the biggest chance of seeing them at least in the southwestern part. Uh, number three I would say is the friendliness of the locals, especially if you are visiting the countryside of Iceland. Um, there's a lot of foreigners working, working in tourism in Iceland, but there are also a lot of Icelandic local people. And if you read like reviews on the internet, um, reading about the friendliness of Icelandic people, you will see that they are very honest, uh, they are authentic, they really like uh, helping uh, helping tourists and I me as an Icelander I would say that um, the service in Icelandic hotels and restaurants is very good number four over the pros in Iceland uh, I would say are the public swimming pools and geothermal uh, natural hot spas Iceland is uh, tremendously rich in natural resources and one of those resources are geothermal energy so um, the energy bills in Iceland are uh, very cheap compared to other countries in Europe, for example. And uh, we have a lot of uh, natural hot springs and many of them are free to enter or very cheap. Um, this is actually a luxury in many countries, these public swimming pools, but they're relatively cheap to enter in Iceland. Uh, pro number five, uh, I would definitely say is the air quality in Iceland. Um, almost wherever you go in Iceland the air quality is very good. Maybe one exception would be the capital area but during the summer months uh, the air gets very clean in the capital area. It's mostly during the summer months uh, when there are a lot of people driving and this can create some uh, air pollution and dust pollution because of the roads. Pro number six, I would say, are the bright summer nights in Iceland. Uh, during the summer months of May, June and part of July, or even July and August, depending on where you are in Iceland, uh, the summer days are very long and the sunset is usually uh, around midnight or even later. So it doesn't get fully, fully dark outside. This can have some benefits and it can be also some cons for some people, but generally in the summer months, uh, Icelanders don't need as much sleep as during the, the winter months. Biologically, you don't need as much sleep if uh, you have less hours of darkness. Pro number seven, I would say, is the Icelandic drinking water. It's one of the cleanest in the world, and there are several reasons for that. The reasons are Iceland is tremendously rich of uh, glaciers. We have the biggest glaciers in Europe and most of our rivers are are from these glaciers like Vatnajökull glacier, Langjökull. So there's a not a, not a lot of pollution and uh, yeah, uh, you can drink from from the tap. It's perfectly healthy and it's one of the best best waters in the world. I've read that Switzerland also have very, 
very good quality tap water. Uh, pro number eight is the quality of the fish in Iceland. We have amazing cod, uh, salmon, uh, lobster, uh, shrimps. Uh, pro number eight, I would say, is the quality of the fish in Iceland. I can, we can mention things uh, or fish like cod, uh, trout, salmon. Uh, shrimps, uh, even whale meat, which is similar to, to beef actually, it feels like beef. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of quality when it comes to fish and our main, one of our main exports in Iceland is, is the fish. And we send, we actually export a lot of fish to quality restaurants in Portugal and, and France and other places. And so we have a lot of a lot of quality, and I I definitely rec recommend that you visit some of the fish restaurants in in Iceland, both in the capital area and in smaller towns.